After the Buff Colored Literary Elements paper, you will see a sheet with instructions for your paper. Under Assignment, highlight the last sentence. This paper cannot be submitted online. A print copy must be turned in for grading. Under the instructions, highlight these sentences. Select two books from the Newbery Award or Honors list, except for The Hundred Dresses by Eleanor Estes. You may not include that one in your literary paper. You can use Newbery winners from your book database that we'll talk about later in another screencast. Only one book can have been read before, as a child or to other children. It can be valuable to you to read from an adult perspective a book that you read as a child or read to a child earlier, but only one book can have been read before. Now emphasize this part of the instructions. The paper will be in two parts for each book. Part 1, you will write a personal response to the book in terms of your own emotional or intellectual reaction to the story as a whole or a section, a scene, or an issue which personally affected you as you read. This is not a book report. Don't retell the story. Do include a pivotal scene that provoked a response and what that response was. Note, a personal response is not an opinion. A response calls for richer information than just stating an opinion. An opinion limits the opportunity for exploration or response. A reflection or response invites reaction and discussion to your perspectives. Under Part 2, highlight these questions to help you clarify your personal response to your book. What makes the book work? What makes you excited about it? What was the element that made you respond? Justify strength of the book in terms of the literary element that you selected. Also highlight these lines. You will need one outside source for each book. Copy of sources must be included. Highlight in the source what information you included in your paper. Include a favorite quote from each book and share why you think it's significant. Include copies of the sources you used when you turn in your paper. On the other side of that first page are examples of APA citations for the bibliography for your paper. The last pages in this section explain the literary elements. Don't panic over these. We will go over them in class and practice with them twice. Now go to the screencast on the book database.